hey, tell me something. Do you think the government's going to step in and pay for all the employees you might have to get damaged by taking the vaccine? That have tremors, that have blood clots, like one of the gentlemen I know just had his foot cut off, or the other gentleman who died from the blood clots. The third person of the three is not seeing complications. But again, the employer who sent them down to get the vaccine, they required it of them. Does he bear any liability? The doctor doesn't, we know that. Nobody that gives it to him has a liability. CDC has no liability. The manufacturer has no liability. That means they do not have to pay for any of the damage. But as an employer, if I require you to go down there and get that vaccine, who's responsible? Can I be sued? And if I could be, wow, that in itself is a wide open trench nobody's dug into. I, if I ask the employer to do that, employee has to do that to get the job or keep the job, then I bear some responsibility. Now, part two, if the employee gets it and then comes back and sheds on the rest of them and they get sick and I allow him to come back, get the vaccine and make them sick and they can prove that there is shedding, that you are contagious, like with measles vaccine, possibly for a week or two, um, and make other people sick. Um, if I allow that as an employer, am I responsible? And my insurance, my health insurance that is so expensive to begin with, if I'm an employer and I'm a small business employer in particular and I even provide insurance, which is very difficult in this day and age, and you get sick because you got the vaccine and we got to pay for you and all of a sudden our insurance for the whole place goes up and we have to give up our insurance. Who's responsible? Is the government going to kick in to the small town employer and say, hey, yeah, let us step up there. Small town employers are not Superman. We can't hold up the world when the, when the government and everybody else bails out on their responsibilities. So, at some point, you're going to see employers say, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Natural immunity. If you've taken good enough care of yourself that you've got an amazing natural immunity and you don't want to have the vaccine, you want to go ahead and live as a control group, I want you to work for me. It says something about your diet. It says something about your attitude. It says something about how you respect your vessel. It says something about your your perspective on what your rights are to go ahead and stay healthy naturally and to isolate yourself from the society as much as possible so as not endanger them or yourself with all these variants by going out and doing unnecessary things like going to bars, going to movies, and going out to all the social things that you don't really need to do. You can take precautions. You can wash your nose. You can wash your mouth out. You can take and be healthy. All these things that you can do. As an employer, that's the kind of guy I want. That's the kind of family I want. I don't want somebody necessarily who's got all the conditions it takes, comorbidities, that are going to kill them if they're diabetic, if they're obese, if they have bad circulation, if they have respiratory problems already. All those things, if they have those, do I have the right to ask all those things and ask them so I can go ahead and keep them from having a job? Medical privacy. No, I can't do that. So why am I going to get the right to go ahead and ask them if they got a vax or not a vax? And if they don't have a vax or do have a vax, we'll determine whether they get a job. And what if they got the vax for all the wrong reasons, peer pressure and otherwise, for the rest of their life, they can't donate blood to their relative or they can't go ahead and um, get a job with people that don't hire vax people. Because if all of a sudden a whole bunch of people who are vaxxed get sick, like the 12,000 die in Europe or the 9,000 in the United States, if those people die, who's responsible? And if it is the employer, oh my God. Now the small business is going to be responsible for having acquired the vax for what? To work at a restaurant job? As a cook? To be a customer? You're part of the reason that that person might have died is because he's loved your restaurant so much he came there. Oh, I love that restaurant. Oh, I can't go. Oh, my social group is all there. Oh, my God. They won't let me in. Oh, I'll get a vax. What the heck? What could happen? End of story. So, I realize this isn't going to get around very far, but it's a question that has to be answered. I've already gotten bumped off of Facebook for it. I've written several articles on the subject. I think it's extremely important. My life has been spent around creating non-toxic organic spaces, as little imports as possible, all natural old salvage materials made by our ancestors back when we were healthy. I believe in being healthy. I believe in taking care of your vessel. I believe that if you do this in your ground, you can have a wonderful life as you age. But my belief isn't what makes it so. I practice good 
diet, exercise. I stretch. I work all the time. I have a passion. Part of my passion is to try to share. How do you build your homes? How do you build your life, your, your villages in an organic, all-American, old-fashioned, quality, high-standard way? And find heaven on earth. I try to share that. And in doing so, in this day and age, you get shadow banned, you get censored, and you may even get knocked off. We'll see how this goes. Y'all have a great day. Bye.